Hi folks and welcome to Shake Happens. I'm not sure when this video is going to air or even if it will, but today's March 9th and it's almost 70 degrees here in Northwest Ohio. And I, I can tell you right now that's not normal. But anyway, we finally have open water back in the ponds and I'm itching to go back and see if I can catch a bass, a bluegill or a crappie back there. So let's go check it out. And I also wanted to see how this GoPro does while I'm fishing. So yeah, that was March 9th, a few days ago. And I did go fishing, I didn't catch any. I hit a couple of the ponds out back, and got open water, and I thought, you know what? Perfect opportunity with the weather. See if I can catch some crappie, bass, or bluegill. In between the two ponds, in an hour and a half, I probably had about 50 to 75 casts, and I didn't get a single bite. So fast forward to now, which is Friday, and happy Friday everybody, and I just thought I'd give an update on things that are on my short list to get done before spring gets here in full bore. Now definitely on the short list of things to do within the next couple of weeks, is to get the asparagus beds trimmed off right at dirt level and salted. I do this every year. I think I put a video up on this very same topic last year about salting your asparagus beds to prevent weed growth. Asparagus is one of the few vegetables or plants out there that is salt intolerant or salt tolerant. And I never have an issue with asparagus growing but it keeps the weeds down tremendously. So that's first on the list. Now if you notice in that clip of the asparagus beds, next to that was a bunch of potted little shrubs or bushes. And those are burning bushes that the wife and I bought last fall on clearance. And we just left them in the pots, let them winter over. But those need to go into the ground here soon. So that's another thing that's on the short list within the next week or so. Another item that makes that list is getting all my fruit trees pruned. Now we don't have a ton of fruit trees here. We have apple and peach. That makes up the majority of them. But I do need to get quite a few apple trees pruned. There's a lot of shoots going straight up that I just need to remove. And here in the next week or two is going to be the time to do it, at least in my humble opinion. So I know that itself is on the short list and will be tackled here pretty quick. Now you probably noticed on my Schick Happens intro, I ran a string of geese footage. And I do like going out and getting as much footage of as much wildlife as I can. And I'll use that goose footage for other things down the road. But I will continue to take the camera out this spring and continue to film wildlife as it starts getting warmer and warmer, ducks start passing through, deer coming out more. There's a lot of things that I'd like to film this spring. I don't want to say that's on the short list, it's kind of ongoing, but I, I do have an extra camera on the, on the ready that I keep at hand just in case at the last minute I see something and want to go out and videotape it. So, is that a spring project? Yes, no, but I thought I'd toss that in. Another thing that will probably make the short list, I'm sure it'll make the short list, is I need to get a few more birdhouses made. Every time at this year, actually usually in February, but into March, I like making a half dozen to a dozen birdhouses and either hanging them right around the property here, close to the house, or out back on trees. That's something I need to get on to pretty soon. I also need to get a big bird pile going for all the trash and the lean to. Get the chicken coop scooped out, reorganize the inside of the shed, get the chicken coop rewrapped with chicken wire, replace these dead trees, get this lean to finish that I started over a year ago, get the hog pen cleaned out, get the gas tank filled, and a host of other things. I got a busy few weeks ahead of me, that's for sure. And this is on top of a full-time job. 
that I'm just now easing back into after these surgeries. But anyway, thanks for joining me here today on Shit Happens. I just thought I'd give you an idea of a short list of projects that I have on my plate here in the next few weeks. And I'd love to hear some of the things you got going on over the next few weeks in the comments below. Until next time, cheers.